at the Utah Frontier Observatory for Research in Geothermal Energy, or Utah Forge. We are working to harness and extract the heat beneath our feet through the development of new technologies that can be applied anywhere in the world. Our ultimate objective is to develop a roadmap for commercialization of enhanced geothermal systems. The heart and soul of an enhanced geothermal system are the hydraulic fractures. The operations that you can see ongoing in the background are part of a program that has been planned for about a year, wherein we have a fracturing service company, a rig which enables placement of isolation devices, and uh, we also have three wells with geophones that will monitor the propagation of these fractures. So the aspirations of this stimulation are indeed to create a fracture system that will allow circulation to occur between wells. One of the reasons that this is possible these days is because of directional drilling technology and the ability to do multi-stage hydraulic fracturing. And those technologies are being brought to bear here so that an effective enhanced geothermal system can be developed. The, the technology that we use in hydraulic fracturing in oil and gas uh, compared to here, the difference is, is that really we're injecting into the reservoir for oil and gas and then we're producing back through the same fracture we created, created from the reservoir into the well. In the case of geothermal, we're actually connecting the well to another well, we're pumping water into the well, we're producing that water, we're creating steam to make electricity and then we're pumping the rest of the water back into the injection well and we just recycle that over and over. Some of the challenges are just monitoring these in these high temperature environments, uh, having tools that will survive and, and get good data. And uh, that has a big impact on the commercial viability of doing this on a kind of a routine basis of making that kind of technology commercial. Micro seismicity is a very important uh, me means uh, to, to define where the fracturing is happening. So we want to actually measure this micro seismicity very close to the process at the reservoir level. That means we have to go to the high temperatures close to the reservoir and it's about 200 Celsius or more. And this is a big challenge for, for the monitoring systems. So we have here these very uh, high temperature tools deployed. And one of them is extremely um, a novelty in the sense that it is supposed to work without any electronics. That means it can stay a long time in the underground, it's based on a fiber optic technology. And it's just as a trial here, but this is what the, we aim also for, is development of technology that can be employed everywhere in, in high temperature uh, environments. When we're stimulating a well like this by uh, injecting water and sand, we're trying to open uh, fractures that propagate a well away from the injection well in order to allow greater fluid flow and porosity in order to uh, capitalize on this warm rock by allowing more water flux through this warm formation. And so by, you, by monitoring for micro seismic activity, we can actually see seismically the opening and propagation of these fractures in the rock. And if we can locate those with time, we can actually see them propagate away from the, the injection stage. And this helps the uh, ejection crew, this informs their work by doing just enough pressurization at that stage to where you propagate that fracture where you want it to go, but you don't get fractures going in directions that you don't want to go. And you also know where your fractures are. So you have sort of information about what, how, what, how you've changed this geo thermal field with your activities. In well 78B32, uh, Silixa's distributed temperature sensing system is recording temperatures of approximately 125 degrees uh, Celsius at a depth of about uh, 1.2 kilometers. And the objective of mapping those small events is to map out the fracture system that's being created and stimulated during the injection. So they want to image that and that provides then a, a drilling target for the subsequent drilling to make connections uh, from between injectors and producing wells in the EGS reservoir. If we can get the technology to work right and we can have not just a few spots where we get geothermal like we do today, but instead if we can use the heat that comes from the planet in places across the globe, why this would have the potential to provide the energy needs of a lot of people. We're not there yet. 
Uh, the technology is still being developed, but that's something which is going on right here in this valley, and hopefully we'll see the kind of progress that uh, we're hoping uh, will, uh, will help change our community and the world. Utah Forge has achieved a number of important successes, but there are still many challenges remaining. We have developed new tools and technologies. We have shown the industry what can be done in ways that had never been done before. But we still haven't demonstrated we can extract the heat. Utah Forge is the only site in the world where new techniques and breakthroughs can be tested for geothermal development. Geothermal energy is currently underutilized, but the potential is enormous. Geothermal is hot, let's use it.